I'm Jason Stokes, Fox Rage Consultant. You join me here today to try and capture a perch from one of many northern canals that I fish around here. Um, primarily the tactics I'm going to be using today is going to be drop shot, jigs and really whatever can, whatever works really. Um, the perch this time of year can be quite widespread, They're chasing the smoke shoals around. Um, so it could be a case of trying to find them, fishing obvious places, the locks, sluice gates, some slats if I can find them. Um, and hopefully we'll find the lure to which is they're going to work the best and uh, put some fish on the camera for you. Now today's a big weather change from what it has been the past couple of days. It's been blazing hot, real sunshine, bright skies, but today's quite dull, um, and the, which could work in our favour because the water is actually quite clear compared to normal. So let's get on with it and hope to get some fish. Before I start fishing today, I'm just going to go through what tackle I use to target the perch on the canal. I bring two rods with me, um, both of them extremely light. I've got the Rock and Street Sprint Terminator Pro, um, and that's matched and balanced with the Prism C1000 reel. Um, because it's such a light setup, obviously I try to keep my braid as thin as possible, so I use the Prism 13 pound braid, um, and I match that with the five pound drop and jig fluoro. Um, the reason for this is I like to keep it as thin as possible because the canals that I'm fishing are fairly deep uh, I need to keep the braid, braid and mono as thin as possible to cut through the water so I maximise sensitivity. Um, and the next one I use is the Terminator Pro Twitching Jig um, matched with a 2500 and I'll use this slightly heavier, still with a 13 pound braid on um, and with 7 pound fluoro this time. And the reason for that is that with it being a jig you tend to catch snags more off debris in the bottom of the canal so that's going to be a little bit extra strength to try and ping it back out. Um, but yeah, these rods are absolutely perfect uh, for perch. You don't need to go any heavier really uh, and it's good fun as well on this stuff. So now we're going to take a quick look at the loads I'm going to be using today. And um, The first one I'm going to try, probably try will be the Tiddler Fast, um, the lovely slim profile of the lure with the thin wrist uh, just makes that tail beat away. They're absolutely brilliant for catching the large fish and the smaller fish, so if you want a bite, they're absolutely brilliant. Um, also, I'm using the Drop Shop Fry and the Drop Shop Flies. Um, again, these in the water probably work really well today with it being quite clear. The good visuals, a little bit of sparkle in the, in the tail there, just give it a bit of a flash, uh, just to mimic the fry that'll be about at this time of year um, and then we're going to look at some of the new colours uh, from Fox um, especially in the spikies now the spiky shards are they're a fail safe when it comes to perch fishing absolutely brilliant all sizes work um, but covered in tiny little spikes all over and they give, these give out lots of vibrations um, and a good stream of bubbles as well when, when you're retrieving it quite fast um, but this new stickleback colour is absolutely, well it just looks deadly. Um, it's available in the Xander Pro as well. Um, lovely sheen on the top, the slightly translucent body underneath. Um, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Um, and then we've also got some of the new Pro Grubs. Um, now the Pro Grubs, big profile. Um, the paddle, the curly tail on that is absolutely brilliant, especially in this clear water as well. That'll really agitate the perch and hopefully get a bite off them. Um, and the new supernatural colours, so realistic. Another colour from Fox as well is the new Silver Bleak, which is available in, in these three layers, the Spikies, the Slick Shads and the Xander Pros. Um, but yeah, that mimics the fry fish that's going to be around here today. And at this time of year as well, you've got a lot of juveniles around and the perch should be smashing them, so these should absolutely be deadly today. Hopefully, uh, they'll do the trick. The two methods that I'm using today is the drop shot and the jig. Uh, now the reason for this, it gives me uh, options of, of what they're actually wanting today. Now if they want to be a bit slower, I'm going to be using the drop shot. Uh, this allows me to keep the bait in one particular spot for a lot longer if they don't want to chase. Um, and the, this will deter what lure choice use as well. Uh, probably stick with the tiddler fast, stuff like that. Um, just give me a lot more movement. Uh, now if they do want the chase, um, I probably could hit, hit the jigs. Uh, this will allow me to speed it up and slow it down at the same time. Um, and if they 
feeding hard on the bottom as well, they don't want to venture too far, the jig should produce the fish. So the reason I carry two rods on the canal is it gives me more options to hopefully put more fish on the bank. I've just come to this light like looking spot here. Uh, there's a lot of bait fish right against these locked doors. Obviously the predators have pushed them up against here. Uh, so this is a good place to uh, make a start. Now the bait fish actually are quite big. Um, so I'm, I might actually even up my lure size um, and match the hatch, if so, so to say, really. I don't think they're going to have plans of, of taking them if this is what they're feeding on. In fact, there's an, another perch there just come up, there, in that corner. Now, I'm not sure yet if they're wanting a, a slow, slow action or quite erratic, um, but I'm sure we'll find out the more we fish through the day. Just keeps hopping and changing. Changing the speeds. Let's see what they want. And areas like this are just perfect ambush points for perch. All the little nuts and crevices, tighten under the locked doors on the wall, they took themselves in there waiting to ambush any prey fish that come across them really. Sometimes as well, just, just lift your lure back up and drop it back down again, really slowly. That sometimes can entice a, entice a take, because if the fish are sitting a bit higher up, they'll spot it, follow it down, and sometimes you get the hit on the drop. It's worked well for me in the past. Try out down this wall here. See what's down here. Oh, yep. There we go. Fish on. Oh, it's good fish as well. Staying deep. Look in that bottom. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. Nailed. It's in the fast. So here we have the first fish of the day. Absolutely annihilated the uh, tiddler fast. Good solid hit. Saw this one crash through. Saw the bait balls just disperse all over the place. Dropped into it. And this is the result. Absolute cracking canal perch. Can I get better than that for the first fish? Beauty. Another one of my favourite little spots on here as well is this little area here. I'm normally, now this is what it's like, it's like an overspill sluice from above the lock. Uh, and the water normally rages through here, which it can be good to catch chub, plenty of chub when it's raging through. When it just slackens off a bit like it has now, uh, you'll see the perch move in. When it's really clear, you can see them come through. And they basically trap the roach in this particular area here. So it's always a good spot to try quite shallow as well, it's only about three foot deep. So spotting them is not hard, really. Now again, I've just put a stickle back mini fry on. Again, just to match the hatch a bit. Slightly small down from earlier. See if I can entice a take. Still sticking with the drop shot as well. Because there's a little bit of current here, you can just, on the pause, you can hold it and it just keeps the lure up in the sort of swimming position without putting any, literally very little movement in the rod. In all these little, little areas, all predators, you've got the obvious ambush points, a couple of old stanchions down there, good cover for the perch. Um, and as well, and quite a few little shelves that goes up and then comes back down again there as well. So if the bait fish do pass out of this sort of area over into deeper water. The perch is sat underneath and they can just come up and, up and nail them.
There you go. It's in this little slack area here. Fish on. Decent fish. The fish just swelled to my left, right as well. Red shaking. Oh, another nice fish. A beauty on the drop shot. So for the success from earlier on, I tried to went quite a bit, so I changed over to the drop shot fry, and this did the result. You know, five minutes fishing with this and this lovely looking uh, battle scarred warrior, really. <laughs> but it's an absolute piece of a fish, really. Cracking, uh, cracking result on light gear, really. Good fun. I've just come down here now as well to a slack. You've got a sluice comes in from the left hand side. It's pushing a fair current through there. Um, but the perch just sit just off it behind these three old stanchions here. Now normally if you just work your lure just in between them three, you should get a hit. Well, at least I hope I do anyway. We got fish on right off that back shelf. We've seen oh, nice fish. In the net. So go towards the end of the day now, and this has got to be the best of the day so far. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely nailed the Xander Pro Silver Blee. Uh, I kept on this sort of area because I noticed some matchmen further down. It's always good to uh, keep an eye on the match reports, results on your local canals. Uh, if they're getting big bags of silvers, then fish like this aren't going to be too far behind. Absolutely chuffed to bits with this fish. Absolutely brilliant. Especially on light gear as well. Really good. Just proves uh, swapping and changing your lures throughout the day certainly works as well. I think I've gone through my full box today. So it's really good. Well, what a result today has been. Absolutely fantastic, cannot grumble at all. I've had three fish on the drop shot and one on the jig. Brilliant day. Um, got a few of the fish first thing first on. Had a couple of small fish in between. Uh, but the, the four main fish is the ones that I've, get, I've come for, to be honest with you. So yeah, brilliant day and I'll uh, be back again hopefully to catch a few more.